for checking out this video. This one's going to be all about the BFC Olympic Arms AR-15 PDW kind of rifle that they do. What I think of it, my first impressions and how I've got it set up. So this hasn't been skirmished yet, so I'm not going to do like an in-depth review. I'm just going to kind of go over some of the features, some of the information about it and what I've done to it really. Why did I get this? I got this because it was cheap. It was a, a really cheap way into the BFC V3 gas blowback rifle AR platform. It wasn't the first one I got, it was actually, it was the second one I got. Basically it's a way for my girlfriend to get into it, hence all the pink stuff. It's quite lightweight without the stuff on it. Um, it's even lighter, it's nice and short and stubby, but it does accept the SIG suppressor from the uh, APFG Rattler, the one that came with that. She can either snipe with this sort of like a DMR kind of setup, or we can take that off, take this off, put a red dot on, and uh, have it as a really handy CQB, like short CQB gun for like getting into tight spaces and stuff. Just kind of something that could do a little bit of everything, but in one package. Through my testing, and I've done a fair bit of testing with it, um, it performs fantastically, just like the XM177 did, and uh, the M16 that we've got did, out of the box was great. Need to dial in the scope a bit more, I think, and figure out if it would be better to put a longer inner barrel all the way through this instead of the, the connecting type that is uh, inside the suppressor. It's a bit wet from the rain from where I was just doing the shooting footage of it. As it comes, it's like this with a sort of a elongated birdcage kind of style flash hider. Really nice rear sight. Uh, it came with an A2 grip and just like a standard M4 trigger guard. So the first thing I did was put the Magpul K2 on and the Magpul sort of glove trigger guard. The Fab Defense stock, um, she liked it. Uh, I like it too on my gun, but it looks way better on this than it does on the XM177. So it's got the Fab Defense stock, which is super comfortable, nice, thick rubber buck pad, and snaps into position really nice. Fits the aesthetics of this one really well. The Magpul vertical foregrip, again, uh, just as cheap torch, just for getting around in the CQB places and not tripping over stuff. Doesn't need to be too flashy, just enough to navigate your way around dark corridors and stuff. The scope is the Discovery Optics 1.2 to 6, sort of LPVO style, you can adjust the magnification with this. It's nice and rugged, nice and sturdy, and your uh, eye relief with this here. It does have a illuminated reticle, but it illuminates like the entire thing so you don't really need it the reticle, the reticle in there is just like a, a crosshair with sort of gradients for, for distance so you can accurately manage bullet drop and it's a it's a really nice it's a really nice scope the glass is super clear it's a really good like entry level scope i think obviously yet to properly test it out uh, in a skirmish but it it seems to be perfect for it obviously it suits the vibe goes with the suppressor color and the the rail the pink rail covers and the pink flashlight not to everyone's taste obviously but it is very much fit for purpose it's nice and snappy just like the other v3 ar platform guns from vfc steel bolt this one didn't have an m pass in it which was uh, a little bit annoying um so for for like cqb stuff without the suppressor it's chrono in bang on like the limit just even a little bit too much maybe like 352 353 fps so for cqb we're gonna have to swap out the bolt with one that's got an m pass in it which you know i've got i've got spare stuff and plenty of bits and bobs that i can do that with um just to get the fps down to like a more reliable 300 to 320 so that you're not really like hurting anyone, pissing anyone off. You do feel it when people are playing CQB and they're like at that 350 limit. So we like to minimize that. The site most local to us uh, actually has a 328 FPS policy. So being able to just swap out a bolt though is uh, is pretty handy just to, to bring your FPS down. You don't even have to take apart the bolt. You don't have to take apart the nozzle and swap it out. I could do that as a more permanent solution, but uh, for now I've got a spare bolt. I just throw the spare bolt in and it'll be good to go. And I'm really looking forward to really getting this one out and seeing how it performs, how how she does with it and yeah. <laughs> Throwing someone into airsoft with a gas blowback is not exactly the most common way of doing it. A lot of people tell you to start on an AEG first, but I mean, she'd be firing my stuff at home in the garden and preferred 
the realism, the, the, the recoil, the kick, or the, the feeling of it going off um, is a bit more substantial than an AEG that by comparison just feels like a toy. So it was just like right in there, <clears throat> straight away, play with a gas rifle, why wouldn't you? Um, she played her first games with my XM177 and it was fine. So I got her this. Now, the great thing about the Olympic Arms M4 from VFC is it comes with not one, but two VMAX, version three VMAX as well. You know, 60 quid saving. And the gun was cheap, like it wasn't expensive. Uh, I got it off of Action Airsoft. I think the time I got it, it was about 250 quid. Really cheap for a VFC gas blowback rifle. Obviously plus shipping and import tax and stuff, but it was actually out of stock. <laughs> and I did a remind me and the next day got the, it's back in stock. So I don't know what the deal with that was, but Action Airsoft is a, their website, proactstore.com or something like that. It's where I get a lot of stuff from. It's where I got this from, where I got MP5s from and where I got my XM177 from. Super good shop, nice and reliable. Slightly different, you, you put your order through and then they work out how much it's all gonna cost and then send you a PayPal invoice. <laughs> it's, it's legit, it works. They do everything properly and uh, yeah, it sort of it comes to you with no no issues. I think they check everything as well. They even put a tag on the box to video yourself opening it, so you don't void your warranty. Because obviously, when you're buying stuff from overseas, it's a lot harder to return things. It's a lot harder for the shop to manage the return of stuff like that. Obviously, it comes apart just like any other. Got a nice steel bolt and charging handle. A uh, nice steel internals, bits and bobs. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure why it, this one missed the boat on the Empath thing. I think maybe it was, uh, must have been one of the last models that didn't. So what I mean by that is BFC now put, seem to put Empaths in everything, <laughs> which is really nice, really handy. Uh, it's good to have, it's good to have that control over your FPS limits so that when it comes to different sites with different limits or playing different roles and stuff, you you can manage it quite easily. It'd be, you know, easy to lock this to semi-auto and crank up that FPS to 450. So yeah, yeah like the Rattler, the Sig Rattler has the MPAS. I know the MPX does as well. The newer Knight's Armament SR16s that they do and they, they have MPAS. That's all I got for this one, really. It's nice and short, short and sweet, brief run through of how I've got this set up. I'm really looking forward to putting it through its paces in games. Probably have to wait for the cold to uh, subside a bit. Wait for that gas blowback weather to come out a bit more before we take it outdoors, but we'll definitely, definitely get this going indoors. I'll, def I'll take the scope off of it indoors though, because I don't want to risk anything in that close range proximity breaking it. Uh, I'm not too sure what the guarantee, the warranty is on the Discovery Optics. Um, but it's not going to be like your your vortex, no quibble lifetime thing. So yeah, we'll just put like a little red dot on there and run it indoors, see how that goes and then take it outdoors. Looking forward to it. Thanks for checking out this video. I'll see you in the next one.